I'm going to demonstrate how to calibrate the milling unit. So we are here on the administration screen. We're going to click on the drop down menu. We're going to go to configuration and devices. And we're going to select our milling unit. And down at the bottom, we're going to hit calibrate. What the computer is telling us to do is that we need to insert the calibration pins and insert the calibration body and then proceed with start. Make sure you have all the parts and pieces that you need. First thing we need to do is to remove our current burrs. Just use caution as some burrs may be very, very sharp. So we're going to insert our calibration pins. They are interchangeable. You're going to insert them and lightly tighten with your fingers. And then you're going to use your burr wrench to tighten them. then going to insert our calibration body also known as calibration phantom and just like your block it does have a little notch and the chuck itself has a corresponding notch and then with your driver you're just going to make sure that it's nice and tight with the black handle driver you do have to tighten until you hear that click and we're going to press start and it takes about 15 minutes for the motor to calibrate. Once the calibration is completed, the computer prompts us to select the burrs that we're going to be installing. So we're going to select the step burr 12S, which is compatible with the cylinder pointed burr 12S and we walk up to the machine and we remove the calibration pins, remove the calibration body, and we're going to install those burrs.